worried. Again. Every time we mention this, you're shaking your head. I'm feeling irresistible. You're doing it soon. I'm not doing it. Anyway. You're doing it this Friday, aren't you? I'm trying to find my passport at the moment. I can leave the country. Want to come? Yeah. My big question is why? Why? Um, well, because I can't do anything else except walking. They went through the tick list, you know, <laughs> parachuting, <laughs> no. Training since, um, oh, about <laughs> nine <30. laughs> What is your training then, Joe? Take us training through this hard training. Yeah. My training regime is core strength exercises. Do you know what that is? I don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the thing with a bit of elastic going, woo, <laughs> like that. <laughs> while I'm watching something on, uh, on telly. <laughs> and uh, then walking a lot, obviously. Right. Walking around my local area with oh. some trainers on, not used to them. <laughs> so how many miles have you done in, in training, like, per day? How many do you try and do? One. <laughs> I did a marathon last week. I, do I walk 26 miles in a day? Did you? Yes, Whoa. I did. That's brilliant. Because you can actually do See that happen because I'm thinking surely that fat old woman hasn't gone 26 <laughs> miles in a day. Well, I have. And well, thank you've got you for to do that every day, haven't you? For you seven do days. For a week. Every day for a week. You've no got to one do knows that. I'm taking a quad bike up there. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> This is, we've got to say, this is for sport relief, and you're calling it a hell of a walk. 150 well, miles I'm, well, I'm calling it BT Sport Relief Challenge, but it is yes. a hell of a walk. BT's... I've called it something else of a walk. Yeah. But... <laughs> they have given you a trainer. This is Greg White. He's a former Olympian. <laughs> he says... Why are you laughing? He's... I can beat him at the 100 She's... metres. He says, and I quote, the interesting thing about Jo is that unlike any other challenger we've had, she's, she's utterly fat. physically naive. <laughs> What's that mean? She, I think he thinks you're, you're you've not no really how hard this is going to be. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. yes, I'm dying right. to know about the lycra. How much lycra are you going to be wearing as you're walking? Well, across? as I don't particularly want to look like the Michelin man, no. <laughs> um, and what I'm worried about, actually, is because the weather's looking quite bad up the Pennines. Yes, yes. And if we get stranded, which one of the crew am I going to eat first? <laughs> <laughs> what? But Joe, what's your body, Joe? What's my body? Yeah, what my body is a temple. <laughs> it's massive and it doesn't move. <laughs> We've got a little survival kit together for you, which I think Dermot has oh, yeah. somewhere, yeah. don't you? You've got me a survival kit. There's a few little things quite, um, there that yeah. we thought you might <laughs> mim in see. And inexplicably, of course, they've got you a cap as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. well. Feel free to wear that when you're out training today. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> <Wait for loose. laughs> Is that it? Ooh, That's yeah. it. <laughs> it. What is it? Oh, you need? It's a blister. Blister something. pumpy blisters. Oh. Pumpy blisters. <laughs> Nothing else in there at all. No. Nothing in there at all. Because we thought she didn't Not... want to be weighed down, Dermot. Oh, okay. Can you eat what you want at the moment? Can I'm have... weighed down already. Look at me. <laughs> I'm like a thin person walking with two small Shetland ponies on my back. <laughs> How am I going to accomplish anything <laughs> more than a mile? Are you allowed? Loads, though, at the uh, well, actually, apparently you burn up 6,000 calories wow. a day. For... Wow. So I'm going to save them up to the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> so what's 7 times 6? 42. So at the end of the week, I'm having a meal <laughs> worth 42,000 calories. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually three you, of the no, Are you fit, though? You are, you're probably quite fit, really, aren't you? Yes. yes you being modest. I saw you swimming being at the... Is it called the leader or the Lido, that enormous oh, group in the winter? Yeah. And it was really cold, but you did well. Well, uh, yeah, but I'm padded, you see. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm like a walrus, because when I went in, uh, although it was four degrees, it was like 25 to me. <laughs> because the cold had to get through so many layers to make me cold. And with these, of course, you float, don't you, with, with having ballast? With big knockers. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I knew, I knew it would only take Sorry. a while to be gone to yes. knocker chat. <laughs> <laughs> Always knocker chat when I'm on this show. <laughs> Um, Dermot, you've done your dance a With Greg as well, he's yeah. a sadist. Yeah. Yes, he so is. So, any tips mm. for, you know, stamina, how to keep going, to keep focused? Well, Greg's the strangest guy, cos Greg um, is kind of the, he's the doctor on... But he does everything with you as well. He's very good like that, Greg. But I, he said to me, you're not, you're, you know, you're not going to be hungry, and I thought, I'm going to be starving for 24 hours. Yeah. If I'm not, you know. That's sadistic. You're not going to be hungry. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> 
what you mean? I had the nicest thing where Greg every now and again would come along and I'd be dancing away to something at three in the morning and Greg would come along and go, open your mouth. And I'd go, and I think it'd be some sort of boring energy bar or something. <laughs> Just put a sausage in there. Go, oh, <laughs> well, listen, you are doing, Joe. you're doing the walk this Friday. Wish her luck, everybody. Joe Brown.